So this is the write-up part of a demonstration that I did in class today with sodium hydrogen carbonate, also alias baking soda. Um, so what I did was I took five grams of baking soda, and my prediction is, so how many milliliters of CO2 gas should be created when the baking soda is decomposed with heat? Okay, so then in class I have students predict how many milliliters of CO2 should be given off with um, five grams of baking soda. That with 5.0 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate, and the formula is sodium hydrogen carbonate, alias baking soda, decomposes into sodium carbonate solid, this is also solid, and CO2 gas and water. So this is a two moles of baking soda is required to produce one mole of carbon dioxide gas. The first step, of course, is convert to moles. You almost always have to convert things to moles. So I have 84 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate is one mole of sodium hydrogen carbonate. Next, I have to deal with the mole ratio, which is two moles of this to one mole of that. Okay, now since I'm going toward liters of carbon dioxide, I'm going to put in our standard uh, conversion, which is 22.4 liters of carbon dioxide is one mole of carbon dioxide. Of course, this assumes zero degrees Celsius and one atmosphere of pressure. I do have one atmosphere in the room right now. I don't have zero degrees Celsius. It's actually more like 20 degrees Celsius, but you know maybe it won't make a big difference. But this is the standard amount to convert from moles of a gas to liters of a gas. Of course, my prediction is in milliliters, so I also need to finally convert one liter of a gas is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Okay, so now doing the math, it should check out to about 666 milliliters of CO2. Um, round that to two sig figs would be 670 milliliters of CO2. Okay, so that's our prediction. I'm going to go ahead and do the lab experiment now, and we'll see how close it matches the prediction. So Professor Kleinian here. Um, I want to show you a little thing that I did in class with baking soda. You could take baking soda and you could heat it up on a Bunsen burner and it'll drive off gases and you end up with the solid sodium carbonate left over. But this time I want to try a little different thing. I want to heat up some baking soda and I want to catch the gases given off in uh, this graduated cylinder that's been inverted and filled with water. So I already set up a part of this lab. I took and put five grams of normal baking soda, that's sodium hydrogen carbonate, into here. Now I'm gonna heat this up like before, but uh, this time I'm going to catch the gases as they go bubble through these containers and they'll end up over there. So I set this up on my Bunsen burner. Okay, so now to catch the gases, I'm going to put on this stopper. It has a tube attached to it. The tube goes through here, and as soon as, soon as it starts to heat, you should start to see some carbon dioxide gas given off. So it's going to take a moment for the sodium hydrogen carbonate to heat up enough. I'm going to go ahead and slip on some safety glasses while I'm waiting here and um, as it waits to heat up and maybe you'll start to see some gas come off.
right? So you're starting to see some carbon dioxide gas given off. The real question is how many milliliters of carbon dioxide gas would be given off if you weighed out exactly five grams on the scale here, five grams of baking soda, sodium hydrogen carbonate. Now there's a stoichiometric ratio of um, moles that I'll show you in a, um, over on the whiteboard that should be the prediction for um, how many milliliters of gas should be given off here. Also, you'll see some water is also coming off and is starting to condense here and run back down. I'm going to turn this off for a moment. So I have a lot of heat on here. And I'm going to go ahead and take this off and shake it a little bit uh, just to help me get some of the gas out of there. So I have a lot of heat in there, but um, it may not be completely heating up all of it. So watch this as I shake this. I get a rush of carbon dioxide gas coming off. I just have a lot of excess heat in there and water is being given off. It's important to shake it so you end up not having any clods or lumps of uh, unreacted sodium hydrogen carbonate in there. As you can see, there's a reduction in the amount of gas being given off. Maybe this is about done. Okay, so now I'm going to read the graduated cylinder and see how much I've, gas I've had generated. Okay, so I'm going to come around the other side. And I can see that this is 650, 660, almost 670 milliliters, 700 is right here, it's about 670 milliliters. Okay, as you can see with the lab, the prediction came out very close. It was about 670 milliliters of CO2 gas that was actually given off in our lab. If it was exactly that, this would be a 100% yield, which is pretty good.